Tonight, animal shelters around the region are critically over capacity as fireworks displays send man's best friend scurrying into the streets and ultimately at the shelter. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey brings us inside two shelters struggling to keep up as dozens of dogs fill up their kennels. From Butler County to Hamilton's Cincinnati Animal Care, the pups are crammed in as nation's birthday celebrations spook them out of their homes and yards. It's really stressful for the team. Megan Colville says animal care has taken in 112 dogs since the 30th, half of that in the last 48 hours. It's a lot to handle for a shelter already over capacity before the surge. Everybody's got to be moving at a quicker pace, making sure kennels are clean, they're ready to go, they're open, uh, and dogs are leaving. Colville wants the dogs out or not coming in. The best way to keep your dog from ending up here at all is to have a simple collar or a microchip. In fact, Hamilton County Animal Control was able to take seven dogs recently straight home just by having one. Up north. Animal Friends Humane Society built pop-up kennels to deal with the parade of pooches. There's over 100 dogs in the facility. Right Megan Poffenbarger says that their team knows how to deal with surges after helping with two major hoarding cases in the last year, but they need help. Hi, you take Danny? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. We need adopters. We need adopters so that we can make room for all of these stray dogs that are here. Adopters like Will Rogers. They've never failed me. He walked away with a beautiful little dog, his third just from this shelter. There's just absolutely nothing like a dog that loves you because they don't care how old you are, how young you are, how rich or how poor you are, or how smart you are. They love you unconditionally. Now, if you did lose your dog, it's best to come down here in person and check at the shelter. If it was picked up, it likely did get funneled here. It's impossible to tell if it's actually your dog over the phone, and it's hard to update the website with so many dogs coming in all at one time. In Northside, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.